All right, you guys, Town Bend Sports and Entertainment got a special guest, Mark Craigle. He's here to break down tonight's fight, in particularly the main event. Mark, give us your opinion on the main event. I thought it was a hell of a fight, don't you? I'm, I liked it. Um, Bazinian, Mugir, stronger, better athlete, more powerful, bigger, I felt. But Bazinian, through six rounds, to me, was a better boxer. He stayed with what he knew how to do. Straight, uh, straight jab, no straight right hand. And I thought he had a lead. And then Munguia hit that body in the sixth round. You could feel the whole thing change. Um, I thought he was going to get a knockout in the seventh at one point. And Bazinian came back. And he showed me something I, I didn't know if he had. I don't know. I'm not even sure he knew if he had. At that point, the seventh round, when Brazilian stood through the onslaught and came back. I'm not saying it was the tenth in Bo Holyfield, but it was pretty damn good. And to me, that made the fight. Um, I thought that when he took off the ninth, came back in the tenth, took him out of there. Um, I thought, all in all, a uh, pretty good fight, man. Pretty good fight. Didn't, didn't let anyone down. Didn't, you know, didn't lack the action. Didn't lack the heart. Didn't lack the technique. Let me ask you something about Jaime Mugia. I notice Jaime Mugia, sometimes he get lackadaisical on defense and he always puts you in a position where you can land a big shot and possibly change the fight. Do you think Jaime Mugia is just who he is as a fighter? Do you think there's anything he could do to fix his defensive I, I flaws? Think, I think that he has improved. I think that the, 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 the fighter you see today, after he's been two fights with, with, with Freddie Roach and now um, back with Eric Morales. I think the guy you saw tonight was more patient and better defensively than the Jaime Munguia we saw win titles in 54. He just wanted to like bull his way in. He still has that. He's going to be him. You know, you can see him playing in there in the crouch and he wants to, he wants to get in there and rip to the body. And, that, and, and, and that's what he should do. And that's what he's good at, you know. Um, but I think that he is improved. I think he's certainly more patient, a little bit better defensively than, than the guy you're talking about. And, and, and the proof tonight was it. I, I had him getting beat. I mean, I, I, he wasn't getting beat up, but I had him getting beat. And he waited and he made his moves at the right time and he took him out. Okay, let me ask you about the, the fight before the main event. Mark, have you ever seen anybody spit out their mouthpiece that like many that, times? man. That he was... was spit. He was like, yeah, to, it was like chewing tobacco. Um, look, what are you making at? Oh, man. Society was getting hit, man. He get hit by Richard Torres. Maybe he'd be spitting out the mouthpiece, too. I know I would. But, I mean, that, that, that's what he had. He's an older guy. Uh, I, I think that Torres, Torres looked a lot of nervous energy when he came out. And, and then I think found himself and the technique took over, the class took over, the youth took over. But he, he was totally getting some big shots. That's why that mouthpiece kept coming out. But before that, a couple times, one time in particular, the Waco hit him with an overhand right. Really cracked. And Torres just walked right through it, just took it and went on about his business. I think that we know more about Richard Torres now. And I think whether he admits it or not, Richard Torres knows more about Richard Torres right now. He can take those shots. What do you think Richard Torres is as far as his growth? Where do you think he is as a fighter? You know, in his, uh, you know, in his young, it's funny, young career. You know, I, I asked him after the fight, "What are you? Are you a prospect? Are you a contender? Are you? You tell me." And most of the time, I'm looking for guys to say, "Hey, I'm a contender. I, I bring them on." And he said, "You tell me what I am." So I, I, I thought it was, I thought it was an interesting answer, but I think he needs to think of himself as a contender. I know heavyweights mature later, but he's also an Olympian. He's seen every kind of style there is, and I think he's got to really think of himself as, as, as the man. Okay, um, one last question. Mm -hmm. What did you make of Canelo's performance? I've talked to various people. Some people think. Canelo's best years are behind him. Some people thought it's just a I Canelo being year, Canelo. I, I think I think his best years are behind him. I think he's still great. Um, 
Berlanga is bigger, younger. I would have liked to have seen Berlanga press a little bit more. I think that he was more interested in surviving and going the distance. Um, for example, I, I think Munguia came out to give Canelo his best and, and to take him out. I'm not... Berlanga was kind of feeling his way through. You know, he, he had, he'd never been in with anyone close to that. Um, Munguia had, had, had been a champion before. So I think it's an apt comparison. Munguia went in to beat Canelo. I think Berlanga went in to survive. And, and, and he did. You know, he, he made a lot of money and he, he made himself more marketable. But um, I, I'd like to see, I, I'd like to have seen him throw more against a smaller, older guy. Mark, will you be calling Better Be Bibble? Will you be calling that fight? I, I won't be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a piece in the package, but we're gonna be calling the main event, uh, Bernardo and Timmy Will. Who wins that fight, Better Be or Bibble? I can't decide right now. <laughs> well, right now, I think Better Be. A, but I think the big factor to me, is some is an old man with bad knees, um, is how good is that knee? Because if you can't move. You have a hard time fighting, fighting Bill. If you can, I mean, better be have got, better be has, has power like I've never seen. You know, the only, only comparison I can really make is Deontay Wilder when he hits you with like a weird shot. There were completely different kinds of athletes. Like Wilder was a slingshot, and better be is compact, but they have so much power. They hit you in, in, in odd ways, and, and you just you break down. Um, for better be a, to be at this level, to have fought guys he's fought, knock everyone out, I ain't picking the best. At least not now. All right, so there you have it. Mark, let, I, I'm going to say this before we end this interview. Um, Were you going to kill me too? No. No, you know what? Uh, two years ago, I would have said better be destroys him, mm -hmm. but I'm just worried about his knees, and I just think... Mm -hmm. I think for Bibble, he might be right for the picking. So that's why I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm still leaning a little bit towards better be, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bibble, be surprised. No, Bibble pulls this no. off. And, I mean, Bibble is so smooth. And so smooth. He's the most stylish fighter I can think of right now. Do you think Canelo won any more of that again? I, I think really? he's nuts. If, uh, I, I, I think I he nuts if he fights. I, I think him. that I think that there's a better chance of Canelo fighting better Bia um, than in a rematch with Bibble. That's my personal opinion. I think that Canelo could box. Maybe think he could still go in and out. Um, especially if better Bia isn't as mobile as he was. Um, but I, I don't see how he solves Bibble. So Not 75. Exactly. All right, Mark, appreciate you. Appreciate you talking to me. You always welcome on my channel.